Now we'll start going and creating some dimensions. I simply, under Annotation tab, you have the different types of dimensions to use. I would start with my diameter dimension and figure out where that's going to go. Uh, we got to make sure we're on the right layer. So that should be on the annotation layer I created. Click a position. Um, let's delete that and try that again. Use the annotation layer. So there's my annotation layer. And I'll go to circle. So the diameter dimension of this hole. And I'll just do regular dimensions from this end to this end, from this end. Uh, I'm going to try to just grab that line and then come down. See if I can grab this line and come over. Grab this line and come over here. I'm just slapping on my dimensions here. And that should pretty much take care of it. We got to do two more dimensions to locate the part. So I'm going to make sure to grab the end of this line, the end of this line. And the problem with this is you got to go way down here to get it to flip. And then you can come back up. And if you have a hard time, just click that location. And then again, I'll just do another one here over to here and slide it over here until it flips. Click a location. And then, gosh, is there anything I can hit? Home, mirror, just try to kick out. I'm going to click on this. See if I can just move this now. I got to hit escape. I don't know how else to do this. Once the dimensions have been created, we can slide these over. Grab this blue dot. Let's see if I can't move this. Uh, I'm trying to get that text, the dimension to flip here. Uh, why did it do that? I'm going to try and grab this one here. Pick on that blue dot and move it up to about here. Just try and get it back on the drawing. Back to dimension. From here to this corner. Click right about there. And then escape. See if I can't move that. And you can see after dimensioning this out, maybe it would have behooved me. Ah, oh, you sucker. Maybe it would have behooved me to have this thing a little higher, right? So you might uh, adjust this to make room by going back to this model space, moving these two views as well as all the construction lines up. All right, so that is the end of my demo on orthographic views. Now you guys go try it out, and I'll give you some other parts to work with.